welcome to Harmony Express Schooly episode 35. 35, we're going to take some trips and go traveling and see some stuff. This week, we're heading to Laurel Hill State Park in uh, in the Laurel Highlands of Pennsylvania. So you'll see a little bit of the uh, of the campground, a little bit of how we uh, how we spent our weekend and uh, you know, a poignant tribute to uh, to the 9/11. Uh, we're coming up on the 20th anniversary of that and uh, you know, it was nice to be able to go out and see uh, where some heroes helped save lots of lives. Um, anyway, so travel along with us as we go to Laurel Hill State Park. Laurel Hill State Park is conveniently located between the Donegal and Somerset exits on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. So if you are coming from the west, um, it's easiest to follow the Turnpike and get off at the Donegal exit and um, and head uh, kind of back through the back country that way off of highway 31 pennsylvania highway 31 if you're coming from the east it's the best to get off at somerset and get on uh, highway 31 that way and get back to the park um, it's a hilly drive um, so be ready it's kind of a technical drive if you're driving uh, with air brakes and driving up hills with a school bus or a big rv but it's certainly a doable drive and it's a beautiful drive all right, we're coming into the Laurel Hill State Park campground. As you kind of come in this main road, they've got a, a, a nice little camp store right here. It's a cool place, lots of good stuff. And as you pull in, there's a contact station, and then the dump station is right over there, um, and the water station. And then over on this side, they've got campfire wood and ice. And so there on your way out, there's the uh, garbage receptacles. But as you come up through here, um, there's a big campground. It's a, it, we had a really good weekend to start. It's a little rainy today, but that's all right. Still having fun. So this area here is what they call the pet loop. You can have pets in that area. You can't have pets anywhere else in the campground. And we keep going this way and we get to our camp right. All right, this is our loop road. We come down through here. These are all very, very wooded sites. So if you if you are solely relying on solar, this is not the place for you. But uh, really, really cool place. Not all the sites have electric, uh, but you know, where these big rigs are, a lot of those do have electric. Some of them are completely dry camping. A lot of it is, uh, you know, for tents, etc. cetera. Um, but it's really cool. So you come up here and you go around the loop road and we'll get to our campsite shortly. All right, you make this big loop. to the right there's a bunch of cottages that you can rent uh, they're really cool I'll show those to you later on but for now we're gonna go left and keep on going around the loop and pretty soon in will come to view the Harmony Express schoolie back there in the wild there he is all tucked in And here we are, all tucked in. So the user, those of you see, it's a little. It was a little bit uh, side to side, but we have these. Uh, they're just basically two by tens. We put two of them together, and we have them on the front and the back there, and it works great. They're getting a little bit, you know, warped after a season of use, but hey, you get what you pay for, right? So like I said, we're in a little bit of a clearing here. So we did get some solar yesterday for a little while, but nicely that, you know, we're plugged in. So it's not so bad. I will say that it was a, a little difficult when we, uh, when we pulled in here. So it's a 40 foot bus and you come around this corner and it's got to get tucked into this, tucked into this corner. And 
there's trees on both sides. So it was a little difficult. So over on this side, we're hooked up. We have our, our 50 amp uh, connected up over here. This campground does not have 50 amp service. It only has 30 amp service. But uh, we have this little dog bone that you uh, that you connect between the two. So we are actually plugged in, um, you know, get one from there. But it's a beautiful site. Once you get in here, you know, it's, there's a little run that goes back here, a little creek that runs back here. Um, you know, it's just a big, wide open space, big, wide open site. It's raining today. We've, we've had beautiful weather up until today. So... We're at Laurel Hill State Park, up in the Laurel Highlands of Pennsylvania, out on a canoe. This is kind of fun. Just love how over here on this side of the lake, like the, it, you're in the mountains, so everything comes right down to the water. Like the tree line is right here and everything. We got Charlie out there being the canoe dude. Have fun. Say hi. Nice, fairly level path. The trails are extremely well marked here. Even, <laughs> even in the rain. Just kind of follow along and this is an easy hike. A little bit of an uphill. It's good times. Here we are at the waterfall. Built by the Civilian Conservation Corps back in the 30s. That's the reservoir. Just nothing like the sound of a waterfall. We're here at the Laurel Hill State Park in the Laurel Highlands of Pennsylvania, just outside of Donegal, Pennsylvania, between Donegal and Somerset. This is the Jones Mill Run Dam. And that's Jones Mill Run. So we're in the rain now. It's really cool when you're under the under the forest canopy, the rain changes. It can be really, really raining out there and you get these big drops out here. But boy, the rains have really made the dam kind of flow well and it's just beautiful. Really highly recommend Laurel Hill State Park. Here's some leftover dynamite blast holes from when they made that dam back in the 30s. Drill down in. Charge it with dynamite, blast out the rocks. All right, we just finished the hike. It's uh, kind of an easy drive back. It's, you know, back the park roads and off we go. The rain didn't stop us, we got a little damp, but that's okay. Got a chance to 
got a chance to get out and enjoy. All right, we came out this far. We uh, definitely needed to come in and take a visit to uh, the Flight 93 Memorial. It's coming up to that time of year. And here we are. This is a flight path of Flight 93. And from the end of the flight path, you see straight out and straight on uh, the wall of names. And then out in the distance is a boulder. Right next to the boulder is where the, the plane impacted. And that whole field is the kind of debris field. It's kind of a somber, sober sight. So this fence that, or the wall that goes along here was where the fence uh, line was. This area that's up here is considered the debris field. Um, and it's kind of hallowed ground because it's, it's the final resting place of, of all those people on that plane. Everything is of significance. So out there, wherever that boulder is, right in front of that boulder was kind of the official crash site where the impact happened. So this wall has all the names of the folks that were on the Flight 93. And it symbolizes the coming together of the, the passengers and crew to uh, retake control of the flight. up at the top there that's where we came in as the flight that was the flight path we came in on and it continues down through here I can't begin to tell you how much this site affects me didn't realize it until I got here and saw all the memorials all the all the, the pictures and the remembrance it was a, a big day in our life and a big day in the life of our country. I'm proud to be here, proud to see it, and sad to see it all at the same time. It was a beautiful memorial, and a really fitting. It's just a very big open field um, with poignant reminders. So, yeah, I know it's a bit of a downer, but you know, I think of those heroes that were here and um, what they did to save how many thousands of lives. I thank them. And I remember, I will always remember. So that was our trip to Laurel Hill State Park. 
really, really highly recommend this park. It's a very schooly friendly park. Um, you know, of course, they allow just about any kind of rig in here. Um, if you um, have solar, there are in the pet loop and other parts of the park, really, really good area there to uh, um, to, to get some, some good sun out in the open. Um, if you like the woods, this is a great spot um, and you can plug in and, and enjoy all that. Um, really, really great park. Lots of other activities. We only scraped the surface. We're going to be going back again um, in the near future. So, um, you know, if you have a van or a, a, a smaller bus, lots of options for, uh, for sites to stay in. Bigger buses, bigger rigs. There definitely are, are places there. You know, bring your leveling blocks because some of those, you know, can be a little bit of a challenge. But hey, um, we really appreciate you coming along with us. If you're new here, make sure you hit that like button um, and maybe subscribe to our channel and kind of watch for uh, new videos coming along soon. And until the next time, we'll see you. Thanks for uh, joining us on the Harmony Express Schoolie. Bye now.